The question has been posed in recent months, what makes a team a team? Is it the collection of players and coaches who come and go year by year? Is it the fans? The memories of great moments. Ryder on fourth down, in the pocket, goes down the sideline. It's caught! Jarrett! The traditions, the songs, the cheers, superstitions and stories. The history of any team, professional down through college to high schools, is what binds generations together and allows us to root for those favorite teams we all have. Some things, like players and coaches, are here only briefly. The football uniforms? The only real constant is the colors. Before 1895, the school had one official color, gold. That year, it was joined by Cardinal. In this early photo from 1903, you could see a dark red sweater with interlocking letters USC on the front. In 1913, a bit of a two-tone affair with socks to match. A year later, back to a solid color for three years. 1917, a cardinal shirt with gold and cardinal stripes everywhere. Most of the 1920s and early 30s settled down with these bad boys. Vertical stripes with a dark jersey on the road and white for home games. The mid-30s brought a classic look not so far removed from today. In the 1940s, still without face masks, simple outfits and the helmets have a single stripe down the middle. The 1953 Rose Bowl and those arm stripes are back, plus striped socks and a single bar face mask. 1955, C.R. Roberts running in a helmet with a small diamond on the side. In the early 1960s, with John McKay at the helm, chevrons on the sleeves made their first appearance but not on the road, only classic whites there. As did the stripes down the pant leg. The helmet stripe disappeared, and the socks were white with white shoelaces on black shoes. In came bigger face masks, and out went the chevrons, back came the sleeve stripes. And while there had never been a Trojan logo on the helmet until 1972, there it was to help with the greatest team in college football history. Then, when Pete Carroll took over, he ordered up those classic Chevron shirts again, and we've been there ever since. So really, despite minor changes here and there, the one thing that really doesn't get messed with is the school colors, cardinal and gold, and the name, USA.